Welcome to Nazareth House, Johannesburg, our home. This is our beautiful chapel, and it is here that the sisters come together and pray, and also experience that wonderful sense of joy and peace with the deep relationship they have with the Lord. Take a look now at our beautiful stained glass windows. Nazareth House Johannesburg was established in 1894, and to this day the mission of the sisters is very much alive. Our foundress, Victoire Laminia, founded the Sisters of Nazareth in 1851, and it's due to Victoire that she has left us this wonderful heritage that we, the Sisters of Nazareth, pass on to all those who work. Our grotto here is a great attraction for our residents, but not only a residence for all those who pass by. The residents take time to stroll in the garden and enjoy the beautiful flowers, different colors, as well as sunbathe in the sun. The sisters' presence is vital in the home each day. And here the sisters mingle with the residents, chat with them, enjoy different games, activities, exercises, bingo, you name it. But the most important for us is that when a patient is dying, we must be there at their bedside to pray and to journey with them on their way to the good Lord. Hi, my name is Chippo. I'm a social worker here in Nazareth House in Johannesburg. We take care of kids that have been neglected, abandoned and orphaned. The kids that we have are from the age of 0 to 12 and we literally take care of these kids for their basic needs. Kids that come through to us are kids that are in need of love, kids that are in need of care and kids that are in need of protection. And we strive as much as possible to give these children a loving family and a loving home here in Nazareth House. Education is very important to us and all the kids who come through to our home, we enroll in preschool and in primary school. Education is the future and we really want the best for our kids. Any volunteers that can come through to assist the children to do their homework is very much appreciated. Donations that come through for stationery, uniforms, school shoes really goes a long way to ensure that we get these children through school. My name is Esmeralda Rosike. I'm the nursing services manager of Nazareth House. It's an old age home that caters for about 120 residents. Some of our residents are independent living. We've got assisted living and frail care. We strive as much as possible to keep the mission of the Sisters of Nazareth alive. We strive to keep their core values by providing love, being patient with the old people, and being as hospitable as we can, we respect the old people, we are compassionate towards them, and we are just to everyone who comes to this place. An elderly person becomes frail, say she's in our independent living or assisted living, we bring them here to this section, the frail care, and we continue to cater for them. Their families come through any time to visit, we rely mostly on the love of the community, the donations that are given to us by the community. We strive to do our best to give them love and cater for, for them as much as we can. We thank so much the sisters for opening this place to us. We'll continue to do our best to keep our elderly in this community. My name is Nancy Mahai, Social Work Department, Nazareth House, Johannesburg old age section. We offer services to senior citizens from 60 years and above from all walks of life. The services that we are rendering to them is screening of their admission and we offer counselling services and we've got active ageing to keep them busy for stimulation. We also have therapeutic uh, programmes and we've got recreational and spiritual motivation activities such as Bible study just to keep them going. And uh, just to ensure that 
we restore their dignity, respect and their rights. So I enjoy every minute of being here all the time. My name is Tandy Thompson, senior fundraiser at Nazareth House. Fundraising has played a major role in the running and the success of the home. It has uh, demonstrated a significant role in sustaining the home. I would say it is uh, the backbone that holds any NGO together. Uh, we have uh, three kinds of donors. We've got lapsed donors, we've got uh, uh, regular donors, and uh, we've got fatigued donors. These donors, through their support, fundraising support, they have supported through their own criteria, focusing on the children, uh, the old people, the outreach program, and the hospice. The challenges that we face in the fundraising department, it's uh, donors that fund for three years in succession. And then after the three years, they will leave the home because they find that we are self-sustainable. Then we've got a two-year a, a donor criteria where they'll fund for two years. After two years, we are allowed to reappeal. Then we've got the fatigue donors. Those donors will leave the home because they find that, you know, they are tired of supporting the same cause. We appeal to all other donors throughout the whole world to help the home to be self-sustainable. We've been more than a hundred years and uh, helping the poor, helping the community around us. We are grateful of all the existing donors that have, looked, uh, that have taken care, looked after the home over the years. On behalf of all here at Nashworth House, that is the sisters, the staff, the children, we extend our heartfelt thanks to our donors and long-standing friends of Nashworth House that have supported us throughout the years. I ask God's blessing now on you and on your families. And for those of you that know very little of Nashworth House, please visit our website page. All the details will be there. God bless.